Hey, yeah, welcome back to another Medieval Dynasty video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I prefer to effectively set up my settlements. What I first do, if it's a big enough area of land, I start with my roads first. I want to try to get everything straight. And I'm going to show you how I do this here in a second. <clears throat> first off, let me show you on the map here. If you come up on the map, get rid of the marker, you can see where I already have basically a grid laid out. If you lay roads out, this will show on your map. Yes, I'm on that island. I'm going to use this uh, area out here for uh, fields. At least that's my speculation right now. But let me show you how I start initially. What you want to do first is kind of figure out, basically, your house is your buildings. Now, let's take a simple house here. I use these as a guide to determine where I want to put my roads. I do this before I even make the roads. Now, I don't build the whole house. Now you can see where I take this right up to the road. Pretty much, you can get it pretty much straight. Let me put the hammer on. You can kind of see. You know, it's pretty straight with the road. And then what I would do after this point, based on this kind of a grid or the angle, that is where I start my road design from. And then I go, you know, forward and I do this. And I make all these corresponding, uh, you know, intersecting areas. But I don't do that until I've actually laid out different plans to make sure everything's going to fit. Because once you put the road on, it is going to affect how things will set. So like, for example, right here. Okay, then over here, I should be able to get a second house right here. Yeah, see, of course I can. See, but the nice thing is it gives you a guide to, you know, kind of try to keep your house straight with the other house. I mean, you know, that's if you guys are into that. You know, if you don't mind everything just <laughs> thrown out haphazardly and crooked and everything else, you know, that's totally up to you. Now, like, if I want to come down here, let's go to another uh, simple small house. I may have to remove that tree. You know, I didn't plan for that right down here, but, you know, you can see right here. Like, I could put another house right here. So you can see how this all plays out. <laughs> then, of course, I come down. Here, I have these open areas big enough for my uh, resource storage barns and whatnot because I want my resource storage and barn and work areas as close to the fields as possible. One mistake a lot of people might make is they put everything clear up here by the road when you want to have that resource storage more in proximity where you're going to be placing your uh, well, you're going to have your products coming in from, you know, if the fields are going to be out this direction, right? So like resource storage. Okay. I just come in here. See that? Come forward, get right on the line there. You know, you may have to toggle it. It depends on how much of a, you know, kind of a freak you are when it comes to getting everything to line up, right? But this is why I like to do everything this way. So let's take a barn, for example. You know, maybe I want to put a, a barn right here across the street, right? See, I can easily do that. You know, and everything, yeah, you know, you can tweak it a little bit. You know, you can see it's not exactly straight. But when you are initially doing your village layout, just don't, don't totally build the platform. Just put the... Uh, 
have, have your hammer equipped so you have the blue that you can see. Then what you do is come to make roadway. And then all you have to do is like you can line up your roadway just like this, place it, and then come straight down. And you can use the foundation of that building. And I suggest a bigger building like the resource storage to give you a straight line or as close to a straight line as you, you, you can get to follow that out based on the type of you know, setup or the grid layout that you are looking for for your settlement. Now this island's got more than enough room extending out here for some nice fields. And of course, if we look at the uh, field layout here, see if I go to put a field in, now, yeah, like I'd said before in a previous video, it'd be really cool if we could uh, make the fields actually, like rotate the field so it would actually align with the road, right? But we cannot do that with fields. But you can see that we're, we're not too far off here. You know, obviously I'm going to have to clear some trees out and whatnot. But this makes it a lot easier if you just take some time, plan out your roads and how you want everything to go. So we have a road design there. I have a road coming down out here. I could actually make a pretty good sized settlement here. And of course, if there's something that you don't like, all you have to do is just right click on your hammer and destroy the gravel road. You know, you can get everything right back to the way it was. But if you are willing to put the time in to your settlement design, this, I honestly, well, know from past experience, if you are dealing with a big enough section of land, is your best way to get a uniform looking build for your small village or a massive settlement. Just take your time and make sure you can place everything and you leave enough room, like say in between your uh, little roadways or streets, whatever you want to call them, so you can place that. You know, if you want to make sure you can have two houses in between here, you know, make sure you have a foundation down like this first. Make your roadway. Then take the foundation up. Just like that. Because once you have the roadway established, you know, that'll create another barrier in which you cannot build upon. So like you may have been able to lay your house foundation down perfectly fine with no problem before you made the road, but then after you make the road, you may lose a little bit of space on these sides here in which to place your house, but you should still be able to place your house in there without any type of a real issue. So you all let me know in the comments below how you like to build your settlements. Do you just like to go, you know, kind of gung-ho and just throw it down? You don't really worry about the angles like this right here. You know, that right there would bug me. I'll sit here and I'll play with this for 10 minutes to get it as straight as I can, you know, with the line of this road. You know, I wish we had finer tuning uh, rotation uh, points for these. But yeah, it, it is what it is. You know, it's never going to be 100% perfect. But you can certainly make it look aesthetically pleasing if you do an actual layout first for your settlement, a road layout to give an idea of what you're looking for. Take your time and plan it. You know, because resources, you know, they do cost money in this game. You do have to spend, you know, your real life time gathering resources or building yourself up to where you have workers gathering those resources, but you still have to manage those workers and everything too. Plus, you know, you have limited time in each day based on the seasons. And I also suggest that you do this during the seasons where you can actually see the greenery. During the winter, 
it can be a little bit obscured. You know, even though you can see the roadways with the winter landscape, it does make it a little bit more difficult to uh, line things up. You know, depending on the lighting going on in the game at the time of the day. But yeah, other than that, hope you guys are doing good out there and you're having a fun putting together your settlements here in Medieval Dynasty on the new Oxbow map. I will see you on the next video. You guys keep safe until then and peace.